So welcome to Firewatch. It's supposed to be a story based game from what I'm aware. Don't know what else it contains. I've seen some screenshots, it looks nice. Uh, also, yeah, if for the people watching this on YouTube, I've got a cold. Uh, so that's probably why I sound a little bit muted. You see Julia. Oh, oh! I have to do something. I could, I could have sat here for ages and not noticed that. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. I am Henry. Confirmed. You approach her. She's out. She's out with her well-dressed professors and grad students. Why do I want to disturb her? Is she just that amazing? You are drunk. Great. <laughs> oh, I should get choices. Okay. So what's your? So what's your? You know, major. Oh, you. You're pretty. <laughs> well, it, what kind of person do I want to play? I reckon I'm gonna try and play like the the smart suave guy. So even drunk wouldn't wander over and just tell someone they're pretty. You gotta try and start a conversation. So we're gonna ask what your major is. You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? she asks. She sniffs the air. <laughs> Toxicology. <laughs> oh, I like it. Giving it back. Was that a burn? You ask. She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings. She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. Split a cheeseburger. You know how fucking difficult that is. I mean, I, I, if you're in a pub, then it probably comes with a knife and fork. But still, have you ever tried to rip a cheeseburger in half? It's so difficult. Uh, apparently it worked, though. One leak, one, one leak, one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Not even just dating, we're already an actual like boyfriend-girlfriend couple. She must really like drunk people who have half burgers. No. Oh. Backpack. So is this my backpack? I guess so. I'm guessing that it's so heavy. And I had so much trouble that uh, I had to dump this in the corner when I got in the lift. Thrust it on. Here we go. I like how the elevator doesn't move until you pick your bag up. Like, it's just so damn heavy. This is already quite ominous. I didn't think this was meant to be a horror game. Like whenever I'm in a situation where it's like super dark in a game, like there's just footsteps. I'm just expecting creep. Oh. Well, I'm dead. Heading into the light. I'm going to guess that I was meant to go to my car. This is what happens when you don't drive. You just don't assume that you've got a car. Load gear. <laughs> That's gonna fall out. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. <laughs> you drink beer just about anywhere. Just in the car. In bed. My housemate always goes on about shower beers. Does anyone else know what... Like, well, I know you know what a shower beer is. It's drinking a beer in the shower. But apparently it's super nice. Just drink a nice cold beer in a warm shower. Can't say I've ever done it, but I've heard it from multiple people. That shower beers are a good thing to do. Life is good. 
Julia wants to get a dog. Well, I mean, I can hear bark in the background. Is that just, is that Julia's thought process or are we actually going to get a dog? Because I'm down for a dog. What motto I name again? Henry. Henry and Julia and their little dog. As long as she doesn't call herself a dog mum, I don't care. I really hate when people call themselves dog mums and dog dads. Or cat mums. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. <gasps> you pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Hang on, I want to have a look at what these... I think I know what a shepherd looks like, but I don't know what a beagle looks like. Ah, beagles are kind of cute. I personally prefer the German Shepherd, I would say. But Julia wants the beagle. The cute little beagle called Bucket. I mean, I, I think, to be honest, the name is making this one the beagle for me. Like, the German Shepherd's a dog I prefer, but Mayhem. I don't like the name Mayhem. That's literally the only reason I'm picking this. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. Aww. Isn't that cute? It's, something's really bad's going to happen to someone here. This is too much of a too much of a story. Like, too much of a happy story. Either Julia's going to die, or the beagle's going to die. Um, I... Honestly, I've got way more of an attachment to a fictional video game dog than I do a fictional video game woman. <laughs> like, it's... We humans are so bad at this, aren't we? Like, we're, we're more likely to uh, protect... Like, John Wick is a prime example of this. With, uh, with John Wick, pe nobody cared about the number of people John Wick killed, specifically because they killed his dog. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Jesus fucking Christ, how quick is this relationship going? I'm guessing 1979 is actually later. because It said a week later, and now it's in a different year. So it's probably not that quick. I just forgot what the date we started in was. But it just seems like I met this girl, we split a burger, a week later we're together with a dog, and then we're about uh, talking about kids. Anyway, what do I think about kids? Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. How long have I been with this woman? I mean, I really wish I'd paid attention to the dates. Because, you know, I want to make a sensible decision here. I mean, I'm playing a sensible character, a smart man. And he, he would think, how long have we been together? Because relationships sometimes just... Sometimes just don't work, and you want to know that the relationship is going to work before you decide to bring a child into the world. I think a year, a year is not long enough to have a child, I would say. So I will say, why rush? She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. Oh god, she's going to die. But she's gonna die. The dog's gonna die. If we had a kid, that would also die. I can I can tell something bad's happening. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. <laughs> My ovaries didn't get the same memo. She says, laughing it off. One day, okay. How old is she? Give it another year, it'll be fine. One day, okay. Okay, one day. She says. Six months later. You get engaged, lying in bed. We're well, not even engaged and she wants kids. Like... She's like, no, we must have children right away. We'll get, we'll get engaged, we'll get married, we'll live together for a little bit, and if everything seems like it's going to go fine, then, then we'll talk about the kids. We're not going to have kids as well. Come on, like, think how difficult it, think how difficult it is to split a burger into three pieces. I rest my case. F I mean, four piece, I guess if you want to feed some to the dog. Ooh. 
See, if I didn't know the name of this game or like the sort of the like, idea behind it, it'll be very strange that I've just the only place I've been so far is in a is in a basement car park. I will be talking about meeting a girl and having a kid and having a dog, and now I'm in the wilderness. Can I sprint? I cannot. Okay, let's not run in the wrong direction then, otherwise it's going to take ages to come back. Thoroughfare Trailhead. Map. Ooh. I thought I said Milf Point then. Uh, Wapiti Meadow, Thoroughfare Basin. Okay, interesting. This may be relevant later. Chat, memorise it. Memorise it. Done. Do not forget to check in. No for absolutely no fireworks. Not in there. Oh, there's bears here. <gasps> what if I get to see a bear? Not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Well, oh, I don't know what I am. What is that? Oh, a hat. Put on hold. Oh, look at that little trick he did. No wonder somebody wants to get married and have kids with this guy straight away. It's for inventory. Notes and documents. Oh, I have a watch. Oh, it's a compass. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Anyway, let's continue. This is nice. This is super pretty. I love games that are like stylized like this, like the art style. Oh, 1980. So this is a year later. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Can't be that angry if I went to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun about having a fun night. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Why am I annoyed? If she's four hours late, I'm guessing she didn't say anything. That's probably why I'm annoyed. She's allowed to have fun. You get mad, you ignore her. Uh, see, I'm, I'm playing the smart guy, the intelligent guy. And I think that ignoring uh, probably isn't the right approach here. You want to get mad so you can air your grievances and work on the relationship. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, you call her an inconsiderate asshole. Now, that's not what I meant when I said get mad. Not, this is just name calling. This is not mature, and I'm disappointed. She tells you to fuck yourself. Go for. Oh, it is just go. She tells you to fuck yourself. And to not be such a baby, you call her selfish. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. <gasps> Why is she selfish? Because she had one night where she stayed out a bit later. I would like more context. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> you pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Now, anyone who knows me will know how unbelievably sexy I am. So, obviously, I'm going to frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Very nice. Thank you, game. Oh. So it looks like I'm seeing... The history of this relationship as I do parts of like as I progress through what I'm guessing is like a walk to a particular location so that was me leaving my apartment building getting into a car I've arrived here and now I'm working my way through the forest or this hiking trail to Forks Lookout Tower which I'm guessing that's where I'm going and uh, this story is going to unfold until I reach there and obviously it's going to end badly because that's just how these games work. Don't look at the sun, you pillock. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. <laughs> I forgot the dog was called Bucket then, even though that was the reason I chose it. Just walking a bucket. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Well, this escalated. Bucket gets kicked. B b ba fuck d d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. Now, the what you're supposed to do if somebody attacks you with a knife, unless you know completely how to properly defend yourself, and even then, you are never meant to attack someone with a knife unless you are defending yourself. 
because all it takes is one mistake on your part or for them to do something like uh, unpredictable and you die. Now, I know what chat is saying. I know that he's just hurt the dog. Yes, I see. But getting stabbed and dying won't help the dog and it won't help me. I will scare him away and then I will see to my dog. You reach into your pocket. Like, that's not what I said. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. That is not good. I said, oh my god. You might just scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. How is that? Like, if someone's trying to mug you, how come the option isn't give him your stuff? Like, he wouldn't have kicked the dog immediately if he'd said, give me your money, and you'd given him your money. He's got a knife, you don't fuck with him. You don't pretend you've got a gun. God damn it, Henry. Anyway. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate Development Chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. I don't think it's fair to tell her not to take a job she wants to take. It's a great job that she wants to move for. And seeing as there's no option for me to move myself, I absolutely do not want to move, then I would say the decision here is to agree as long as she can commute. Uh, it's a long distance, obviously. I mean, 2000, she says commute. I wouldn't say commute. She should go there, and then when she gets holiday, she'll come back and visit, and I'll visit her occasionally. This is this is an unfair decision game. Why are you giving me the unfair decision? My, man is, my guy is unreasonable. I don't like it. Um... But I, yeah, I don't think I still don't think it's fair to tell her not to take the job. So you ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. See, she is she is the better half here. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. Yes. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. There you go. That's not too bad. Nineteen eighty five. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh. Interesting development. I told you something's going to go wrong. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Well, it sounds like an important thing that needs to be discussed, and I care about Julia. I, uh, I think that we should talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. So she's 41, and it's been maybe five or six years since we met. So that initial conversation we had, where she was like, I want kids. She was like, what, mid-30s? Which I don't think it told me. Obviously, I, I need the information to make the decisions. Anyway, we're both keeping this a secret. If I set up a camp, why can't I? Oh, I have to read the journal. <laughs> I was trying to walk around, but it won't let me move. I am fixed. <laughs> Is this the drawing of me pausing? Oh, that was so good. Ah, oh, Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Okay, so she's continuing with work. 
Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in her class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Eww. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. I mean, if she's suffering from early onset dementia, I couldn't have changed that with my decisions, right? This was always going to happen. What difference would my decisions have made, aside from the fact that in that journal, I wouldn't have been posing naked in a sexy way. I'd have been pausing probably with my hands on my hips like a superhero. Nineteen eighty-eight. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with a twenty-four hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. So I met her in what I've been with her for like ten years, haven't I? And, like, what do I do? What What's my job? Is it mentioned yet? I'm trying to figure out whether the right decision for Henry here is to pass her off to people who can look after her better, or whether I have the time and the uh, perseverance to care for myself. I think story being told, it sounds like we are super close. We've had a couple of arguments been mentioned, but she's even been coming back and forth to uh, to see me from like somewhere that's two thousand miles away. The best the, the the best I can do is look after her, and I'll put her in a home if uh, it gets to be too much for me. Can I go backwards? Is there a secret? No, it's blocked off. Wow. Guess I just clambered through the rocks and then smashed it down behind me. Ooh. It's like the long dark all over again. What, what, what? Oh. <laughs> It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. And she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. Oh God, am I an alcoholic? You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust that she sleeps like a rock. Ugh, I mean, putting a chair in the front of the door is just such a, shows such a sign of mistrust. I mean, what I would actually do is call a mutual friend or family member to come and look after her while I'm out so I can get some time away. That would be the responsible thing to do. Or I would, I mean, I know this is like the 80s, but if this happened now, you could purchase uh, like a motion camera and just keep an eye. I, I said I'm being a sensible person here. I'm trying to play the, the smart character. I think if I was genuinely worried that she would hurt herself going out, I would probably, I mean, I wouldn't put a chair in. I would put a lock on the door. But, uh, seems like such a mean thing to do, but she's not herself. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge way off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 
One night you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point one zero and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. See, I do have a person who... Sister-in-law as well. That means that that is... Uh, Julia's sister. Or I guess it could be like my brother's wife. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Excuse me, I, I looked after my house. They then tell you that Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming. You see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. I feel like I'm not playing the character that I think I'm playing here. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have made that decision. Disgraceful. It's like he doesn't even care about her. I mean, I'm, I guess, like, he's been dealing with this now for years. So, I'll, I'll cut him some slack. Enter the lookout tower. Oh, this is beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Thumbnail. Yeah, there we go. I am getting long dark vibes from the aesthetic and the fact that I'm in, a, in the woods. But like I was saying, I really like these sort of uh, stylized designs where like it looks really nice, but it's got a very sort of like cartoonish, cell shaded look to it. I love it. We'll look around. Nope, nothing up here, apart from a shack. Look at this though, how nice is this view? I honestly think I'd quite like a job like this in the real world. Ooh, is that my shitter? I mean, outhouse. I like being out in nature. Anyway. Turn on the power. Oh, I'm guessing it's this. Hey, cool. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh, hello. Hold left shift to activate the radio. I'm gonna have a quick look around first. So, oh, pine cone. I want the pine cone. Drop. Well, that's gone to my bed. My pine cone. Brad would have chosen it. No, I wouldn't have chosen unemployment. Uh, I just think that the decision not to visit her at any point is just harsh. Like, it's like months go by. It's like so the parents, the, the girl's parents come and take her away because you're not looking after her properly. But you say you'll come visit. Like you should visit her. Even if you just come for a couple of days. God. Maybe didn't have any money. Ooh. Desk drawer. Oh, why can't I open it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave it open because I'm a rebel. I've got a wooden stove. Oh, I want the pine cone. Eh. I wonder how many more pine cones I can find. You know, this entire playthrough I'm going to be collecting pine cones. Hope people can accept that. Cookbook. Okay. Can open any of these drawers. Water jug. Guidebook. Oh, the singular mind. Examine. Oh, I can turn it. <laughs> do, 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 do. So let's read the back. Singular mind, Dr. Jonas Salad. Don't mind your mind alone. Have you considered the untapped power of your own mind? Do you often ponder the unexplainable? Do you find yourself seeing that which is not there? Do you yearn to explore the labyrinth of your own psyche? Dr. Jonas Allard, PhD, renowned psychoanalyst and Rhodes Chair of Psychology at Loyola Merriment, as he explores the power of the solitary mind. This decisive, yeah, this decisive but accessible, accessible 
treatise on the power of the isolated psyche unclogs the avenues of our day-to-day -day thoughts, helping us unlock the psychological potential buried deep within ourselves. The Seattle Enterprise. Readers will be enraptured by this powerful exploration of Dr. Allard's hypervigilant methods of neural isolation. Isolation. Seven review books. The quintessential roadmap of mental enlightenment. Dr. Allard is a wizard. Well... I'll read that in bed. Oh, glory. Michelle McMahonus. Uh, I'm not going to read this one as well, but this looks like it is a over a six million books in print. Well, amazing. I'll also read that in bed, I guess. Okay, I guess I'll reply. Scroll to select the dialogue. Then release left shift. Um, hello? Oh my god, that's hello, my voice. Is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's Jesus, Henry. Idea. Defensive. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh, I can't. <laughs> okay, so we we get to uh, we get to ask her why she's here. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home could stand you. I reckon after everything that's happened. Oh, wait no. Out on this? no, 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 wait, wait. Fine. I guess but I'm not allowed I'm to talk. Take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. Good night. <laughs> oh no, sticky keys. No. Times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. <laughs> Is that it? I was enjoying the fact that it looked like he's wank, like doing the wanking thing. Good night. <laughs> no, not sticky keys. Go away. <laughs> Fire watch. So this is I, I'm guessing that opening bit wasn't meant to take us that long, but because I've been chatting so long, the bar goes down. Okay, I'll watch for the bar, that's fine. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me? Where are you? Is there a camera here? That's the radio call. Ooh. Photo with Julia pick up. I can't. I'm too far away. Desk lamp. I'll pick up later. Okay, let's talk. Where's this bar that somebody mentioned? Oh well. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. Okay. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yep. Oh. So you left shit to talk about a targeted object. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, oh. you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> Out your west facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh. Are those fucking fireworks? Oh, <gasps> fireworks? I guess I have to- Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Stop Fire them. through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest <laughs> wow. ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Ugh, fine. Oh, Flora of you the Shushan. 
<laughs> Kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. <gasps> D20. Make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Wow. Look at this. I found a map. Escape from two walks. Cool. Is there treasure? Can I find treasure? Oh, treasure chest! There's a treasure chest! Where's the treasure? Treasure's there. Treasure's there. Oh my god, where am I? Where am I? What am I? What, what, where's the place I'm... Uh... Uh, maybe I'm in the witch's house? Like a house on legs? Can I keep this? No. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to put this here. This is the most... Hang on. I need it to face the right way. There we go. That's the most important thing i found so far. As people can see, I'm stocking things on my bed just in case I need them when I'm sleeping. Uh, what, what am I doing again? How do I check my objectives? This is why you should pay attention, Brad. Hang on, you tell me what I'm doing. No, let's tell me what I'm doing. Oh, I have to go and sort out the... Nope. Oh, window's open. I've got to go and sort out the kids, don't I? That's what I'm doing. Do you have rope? Do I need rope? It did say something about rope, didn't it? Is the rope in here? Don't worry. I'm on the case. Rope, 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 rope. It starts to sound like a real word when you say it like that, doesn't it? Rope, 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 rope. Ooh, a fire bucket. It's not going to put out any fires. A clock. Oh, it's broken. What fucking good is that then? I mean, clearly there's no rope in here, so time to go. Maybe ropes in like the storage shed at the bottom. That's where I'd keep it. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Sad to the brown. This place that the rainforest that truly sucks ass. Oh. Let's knock it all down and get rid of it fast. Sis hit the rainforest. Ooh, a cistern. Is that where my poop goes? Wait, no. Why would the poop? Oh, it's broken. Why would I be pooing up there? There's no place to poo. Does this game have a sprint? What's this? Jump up. I heard you firework. Where is this rope? <laughs> I also saw an outhouse. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Oh, what if I could use it? You always appreciate the level of extra detail in games when you can take a shit. Yes! Oh, a baseball. Ugh, I don't know where all that's been. Can I throw it in the toilet? Uh, what my baseball back? There we go. My shit baseball. Uh, you know, I'll keep it here for safekeeping in case I need it later on. Ah, there we go. Ah. Don't mind me, everyone. One sec. You ready? Somebody wants to me the word. Ooh, what's that over there? Beartooth Point Thoroughfare. Well, I'm just going to go west. That's the only th thing I remember. Oh, why can't can I not? Oh, I, was, I thought I could walk and use my compass there. I was just looking at a rock. Let's go west. 
Do, 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 do. I've forgotten the rope. I'm sure she'll call me back like, what are you doing? Ah, oh. See, she seems to know exactly where I am all the time. West. Hang on. Zoom or Orient. Uh, God, that's, that's so disorienting. The irony that it's the Orient button. Do, 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 do. I hear you firework people. Guess I should go this way. If I run into a bear, I'm going to be very unhappy. Who comes out into the middle of the forest to light fireworks? Oh. There, see, easy. Uh, right, how do I go this way? Up that tree! There we go. Oh, something over here. I shall investigate. It's not like anyone's going to know if I've done my job right. Medicine wheel. Yeah, what? Why does it say medicine wheel on the screen? Oh, maybe that's the location. Maybe that's what this place is called. This is the medicine wheel. That's why there's an eye, because I'm seeing it. Big brain. This is a dead end. Oh, can I get up here? Vibrate your way up, sir. You can do it. I guess I went the wrong way. So I can't see a way here. Is there a... I need to know if there's a sprint. Like, I feel like I'm just traipsing through in slow motion. There is some urgency here. They might burn down the entire fucking forest. Walk faster. You pillock. Uh. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's a sign. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Ah, oh, to toggle. Oh, I can jog. Why is it on R? Oh. Game developers, have you never played a game before? Anyway. Oh. <laughs> thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service. Budget. She's gonna it's think I'm so ignorant, field. just ignoring her constantly. Oh, you're talking about that um, giant fire that probably caused some damage, turned a, an entire jamboree of brownies to dust. Brownies don't have jamborees. Well, they should. And you He's right, they don't should. know what the hell I'm talking about, do you? I do not. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Carabiner. Examine. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. I mean, I guess this is what I need the rope for, but I don't have the rope. I, it's not that dangerous, is it? Oh. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Oh, I mean... A <laughs> cripple coach. What about shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? <laughs> uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. Map updated. Oh, I do have a map. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, well, I mean... 
to infinite and beyond, right? Oh. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, go back and get it. If you break your leg on your first day, I will not be pleased. Where was the rope? Tell me. Oh my god. Find rope in the cache box 306. Is this on the map? Oh, there. Okay. Uh, so I go back the way I came. I suppose I should probably use the actual directions. Uh, so it looks like I have to go east. I'm guessing this is north-south. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, I am a genius. Oh, combination. Ah, I remember this because it's completely unsafe. Even though I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we have a map. Copy the information onto the map. Ooh, a note. Examine. Oh, Jesus. Don't look that close. You hurt your eyes. Ron. Hey, man. The guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his luck. I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park. But let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Oh, I can keep the note. Oh. <gasps> I want to take the pie cone back, but I can't. I have to carry it. Uh, okay, hang on. Pine cone, stay there. Okay. I have the rope. Oh, I guess I'll eat a granola bar. Delicious. Don't know how long it's been in there. Don't know if it's poisoned or anything. Just fucking eat it. It's fine. Where's my pine cone? Okay, pine cone. You and I are going on an adventure, aren't we? Yes, we're gonna have a great time, Brad. Cool, good job, pine cone. I'm gonna call you Chris Pine. Oh look, I can even run with a pine cone. The game knows. Me and Chris Pine Cone are gonna have a whale of a time. Okay, so now Chris Pine Cone, I hope you're not scared of heights, because you're about to go down this hill. Good pie cone. For a space bar to repel. Don't worry, pie cone, I'm coming. Wait, how am I getting the pie cone back up here? I just made a very pine based error. No, no, no! Well, that rope was safe. <laughs> he landed on the pine cone. <laughs> No, oh, no, it's there. It's fine. Uh, report accident. <laughs> hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Stay there, come on. I'm gonna just examine this. Okay, another place I can go down. Come on, where are you? Chris Pinecone. Which way are we going? I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Just keep heading west until you fall off the edge of the earth. Uh, just keep walking, just keep walking, just keep walking. I can't walk up here, can I? No, it looked walkable. Oh, I see backpacks. And a fire that's just been put out. <gasps> they were here. These look like he used fireworks as well. <gasps> Chris Pinecorn, we found them. We found their stuff. We can raid them before they come back. 
Chris Pycon, right? You need to be on lookout. I'm going to put you there. You look out for them. I'm going to examine. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. They go to jail anyway. What does it matter? Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that Mine? doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Clean up. Confiscate. How can I fire? Oh, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that probably could have ended poorly. How'd you get fired and wind up in jail all on your first day, Henry? <laughs> uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to turn a Roman candle into a smoldering fire pit. Regular forest burns. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the main. <laughs> fire. Oh, I can't pick them back up, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, I'll confiscate them. There's some more stuff over there as well. Come on, Chris Pinecorn. We're going over this way. Oh, actually, there's some more stuff over here as well. Off the left here. Oh, clothes drying. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Oh. Uh... What if they're naked? Oh. Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Okay. What I need to do here, Chris Pinecone, you go on ahead. I'm going to go and look at those cans over there. Ah, oh, how much are they drinking? There's two of them. Also, I must have a lot of bag room. Okay, right. Well, it looks like I've cleaned everything up. Do my job well. Nobody can say different. Now it's time. Ooh. Hello, Flutterby. It's time for me and the Pinecone to go and investigate. Where are you? Pine Pinecone. There you are. Let's go. Interesting. Hmm, a bra. I'm not sure. I might need to take it down and examine it closer. Perhaps back, perhaps back in my shack. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> Come on, Chris Pinecone. Let's sneak closer. Uh. Uh, there are. Uh... I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> Another. Oh. 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 There's a. Oh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Where are they? Ah, oh, there they that? are. Come on. I like naked ladies. Yes, I can handle that. You know. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Oh, I'll do a job, all right. What do you think, Chris Pinecorn? One for you, one for me. You have to let them know that we're interested. The Dance of Love. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, well, that could have gone better. Where's the stereo? Ah, uh, it's mine now. Even though it is a bit damp. Might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. 
Ugh. Well, I can't do anything <laughs> about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. Uh, well, time for a nice, cozy stroll back. And they just ran off into the woods without their backpacks and without their clothes. <laughs> Gonna get fired. Well, you know, that could be the objective for my playthrough. How quickly can I get sacked? I've already tried to throw fireworks on a campfire and I've destroyed some personal equipment belonging to some people. We'll see. Blame the pinecorn. You're right. The pinecorn did throw that radio in. I had nothing to do with it. Bad pinecorn. Bad. Oh, re report meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Wait, I have to do it from the lake? Ah, <sighs> okay. Come on, pine, come on, I guess we're going all the way back. I keep forgetting I can run. That would speed this game up immensely. Okay, and then head north. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or... Consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps. <laughs> no, no, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I mean, how was going north get me back to my lookout point? Before he came back and just saw me stood here aimlessly staring at my map. Uh, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, I'm going north. So apparently that way. Where are you, Pinecone? 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 Oh, I thought you'd left me then. Oh... Can I actually have gone in the water myself? Ah, there's a barrier. Oh, there is a way across. It's so silent. It's a worryingly quiet, isn't it? Don't you think, Pinecone? Yes, it's so quiet out here. Perhaps we should sing a little song to keep us uh, entertained. That's a good job, Pinecone. What song would you like to sing? Um, uh, I, I don't know. What's a pine-based song? <laughs> What song could I you put the word pine into? Or pine cone. Baby, you're a pine cone. I guess I just keep following this stream along. So I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh god, what now? What is it? I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, <laughs> why you're out here and stuff. Hold right click to zoom. <laughs> just looks at the pine cone. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's Don't fine. worry about I'll, it. I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. It's fine. Anyway, I am no stranger myself to the Alchema Halls. You are completely allowed to be drunk in my presence. Ooh. 
and can I go under here? God. Terrible game. One star. Well, that doesn't bode well. Also, the fact that it's leading me into a creepy, narrow canyon isn't great either. I'm definitely going to get attacked by, like, a water bear. Like an ocean bear. Sea bear. Bear of land and tides. Ooh, a cache. I guess... <clears throat> I mean, if, if no one... If no one's going to need it... Oh, hang on, I've just realised... What if I open it up and there's another pine cone? How am I going to decide which pine cone to take? The trusty reliable or the new sexy? Guess we'll have to find out. <sighs> Ooh, a horn! It's pretty cool. You know, it's not though. A pine cone. Flashlight's useful though. Oh god, why am I getting a flashlight? Is it because it's ah. night? Oh. Is it because it's going to be night time and this is going to turn into a horror game and I'm going to die? I need to put the horn back in here. Go oh, in. There we go. So I can come back for it. Okay, pine cone, it's time. Let's continue. Oh, well, I guess we need the torch so we can go through the creepy cave. Don't worry, pine cone, we got this. Hello? Well, the bear's definitely coming for me now. <laughs> Play with the echo one more time. Oh, I guess I can't talk to her now. I'm too busy making noises to myself. Ooh, how did you get in here, tree? Uh, gate to cave 452. Is it locked, pine cone? I guess so. Creepy. Okay. Well, I guess this is the way out. Uh, okay, Pinecone, I'll go first. You come if it's safe. Okay, it's all clear up here, Pinecone. If you want to come up now. There's a good Pinecone. It's getting dark though, isn't it? Ooh, where's my tower? I should be close now. Oh. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Yeah, I came out of this cave in a canyon and he was just... Being some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Oh? What is it? Is it haunted? It's outside. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the sass. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. This is where they were stood. Just pride rocking all the way up here. Let's go further up. I'm scared, Pinecone. I'm scared. It's getting darker. There's mysterious men out here watching me. I have no idea what this game's about. It could easily just turn into fucking World War Z or The Mist or whatever else has creepy things in it. Oh, this looks safe. Okay, I guess I'll uh guess I'll just climb up these rocks like it's nothing. Oh Jesus, I'm just climbing up a fucking cliff face. Huh? 
trail claws sign. Well, wonder why. Oh, oh. You fucking klutz. No, 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 no! That was close. Did I leave that open? So why is there like a cardboard cut out here? Oh! Should I stand him up? Guess not. Where's Pico? Pine. Oh, 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 oh. Pico? Pico. Where did the ball go? There it is. Stay safe, ball. Right. Pinecone, we've made it all the way back. How was your first adventure with me? Did you enjoy it? Oh? Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. Now these people say fuck me a lot. Should I not pick up the typewriter? And take it... Oh, I can. No, pinecorn comes first. It's the most important thing. I also need someone to defend myself with. And does everybody know pinecorns are the most dangerous weapons in the world? Okay. Looking carefully. Turn the flashlight off. No one's there, but the place has been... Just wait, where are the other pine cones? Where are my pine cones? Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place, threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Yes. My fucking sheets are gone. <laughs> they stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, my, my pine cones are gone. Report those, please. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. Who hates pine cones? Girls at the lake. Maybe the guy in the kite. I'm gonna blame those girls. They probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple safe. young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Well, I don't. Yes. Oh, <laughs> just tell me where to find a gun. Well, I sure don't know. I do not feel safe. You will. I, I promise. Oh, do you? You promise? 